Hello, students. Today we are going to talk about a new topic on adding or multiplying a number to a set of data. And let's say, for example, we have seven students, and each of them has some cash in their pockets. And uh, we have to find the mean, median, and mode of the cash of these students. And therefore, for part A, mean, again, we simply add up all those numbers 45 plus 55 plus 70, 60, and so on. Sum up all these and then divide it by 7. And by using our calculator, the answer is $57.1. And uh, for the median, we have to arrange the number in ascending order first. For example, we have 45 and then uh, 50. Next will be 55. And we have 360 here. And the largest one is 70. Since we have a total of seven numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, therefore the middle one, this one, it will be our media, that is $60. $60. And of course, the mole, the amount or the number with the highest frequency is $60 too, because we have 360 here. And uh, for part B, if each of them use $12 to buy a cup of ice cream, that is, each student, the amount of cash of each student will be decreased by $12. So 45 becomes 34, 38, 43, 48, 48, 48, and then 58. And now the new mean, it can be found in two ways. And the first one will be, we just simply add up again, add up all these numbers, and then divide it by seven. And if you use a calculator, then this will be 45.1 dollars. But there is a second way, eh? and since if you compare the new mean and the original mean, it differs or decreases by $12, which is exactly the amount of money which its students used to buy at a cup of ice cream. So, actually we can also check the median. The mu new median, of course, uh, right, this is the middle one, $48. And again, if we compare the old median and the new median, it is also decreased by $12. And so did the mole. We have $48 too, because uh, we have four, uh, three $48 here. So decrease a set of data by the same amount will cause the mean median and mole to be decreased by the same amount too. And therefore, our conclusion can be like this. Actually, we don't need to know the exact amounts of money inside the pockets of each student. Actually, we don't need this in order to know the change, the change of the mean, median, and the mole. All we have to know is to the amounts by which the pocket money is, is decreased or increased. This is, which is this $12. All we have to know is just this $12.